Right, let's keep moving. Leaves. I should ask Serona at the three brothers. About a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Okay. The hell was that? Exactly, Scottish knights. God, I've got. Hang on, I've got so many quests all of a sudden. Hang on. Beast class. Yes, we need to go to beast class. We're going to beast class! I have sad news though. We can't have dragons. Can't have dragons. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo. Useful for pulling objects to the ground. Okay. It's very upsetting, Bobby. The cross one's duelist to beat. I am the school champion, Bofo. Hear me. Uh, I will admit, just running around is nice here because it's just there's a lot to be there's a lot of detail went into this, and I just think it looks nice. Beast class. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures... That's a dodo. That's a straight up dodo. They are all in their own way dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. That's a dodo. And now, it's gone. it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting... Would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly... That's a Furby. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. So, now we've hey. got Dodos and Furbies. Practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye Gerald? <laughs> you can Hi, well. Gerald! Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Gerald? Who the fuck? Gerald? That's a really adult name for a glorified Furby. Alright, I'll stroke Gerald. There you go, Gerald. I am okay. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Okay, Gerald. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Okay, I will fucking God. God, I'll feed Gerald. What's is is his wife called Geraldine? Look, Dino Nuggies. Nom nom nom. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Gerald I think is. We can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. He's a ball of good fluff. Work, he probably eats his own now, shit, love. I think you're talking our way shite. To the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? The measles? That's a disease, way, isn't it? The measles are over here. They're cats. Those are cats. Those are cats. You've just boxed up some cats and said they're dangerous. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. See, it's a cat. What You're pulling its face. What are you doing? Ugh. Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worries about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. 
Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. I will do you in, son! <sighs> Let's go. That's it! Walk away from McGregor, McGregor! He will skin you alive! And put you on his mantelpiece! Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Hello. Coaches in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Brush. Yes. Brush you. I could not leave you out. Of course I couldn't. These are cats. These are just cats. Are these feathery cats? Is that what I'm getting from this? And feed. And feed. <laughs> the measles really took to you. And feed. They know a good egg when they see one. As I'm a I. person. I don't know what eggs have got to do with it. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now. Where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I loved it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Okay. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, okay. which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Are you sure, Professor? Yes, professor. I could have killed him They're quite easily. As I've already as murdered about 15 goblins. Poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Okay. Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Okay. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay. Hey, over here. Come on. Oh, hello. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Okay. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Are you going to... Am I going to lose a kidney? Very this is how well. you lose organs. Way. I'd hoped I would. Okay, let's let's go. If I wake up in a bath of ice with no I kidneys... I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. With good kidneys. Really? Well, thank you, I think. Exactly, see! As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. I'm going to be talked to Candy Mountain and you're going to steal my kidney. This is what's going to happen. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. Don't you think? Oh, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Okay. Just saying. I wake up with no organs. Don't worry. We're nearly there. Mm. It's just ahead. Oh, if you replace my heart with a baked potato. Okay. Stand back. Oh my god, it's a hippogriff! Aha. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? I'm a bird. Go on, introduce yourself to her. 
But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Hello, bird. I am McGregor McGregor of the Clan McGregor. I bow in your presence because you'll kill me. I, 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 I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. There's some Ford. Her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her. The fuck? But she's a dreadful busybody. I don't think that she's a busybody. You just bring her food. It's all animals. You just bring them food and they look like they're listening. GG does it. Bye. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Mm -hmm. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. I have so noticed. I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Okay. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. Mm -hmm. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. Okay. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Mm -hmm. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, that'd be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. When do I get a bird? Is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay. Beast class is complete. Okay, so I've done beast classes now. That's nice. Um... I want... I want beast... Hang on, guys, do we want to try that again? Okay, good, good. Did anyone else just see me run through that door? I'm gonna say I ran straight through that. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a Hello, moment? Gareth. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that Fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an Fair. idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping <laughs> you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. <laughs> Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honey Dukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. God, you sound so English. Right, I'll continue. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Okay. See, I just throw the cat at Leo now. Which statue shouldn't be too hard to find. 
That's what I do when she's feeling down. I throw the cat at her. We are fortunate to have a stu Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. <laughs> yeah, Gigi's the same. Your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. Yes, I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, yes. Of course not. And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. What's up? Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Awesome. Did we just stand there for like now, five you hours? Mind humoring me for a moment. See if you can remove the moon. The pulse on the oh. Accio. Oh. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Okay. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Okay. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took Rebellion the form of a demigod. A demigod. <sighs> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Mm -hmm. Wholly unnerving. I right. encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. Okay. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. As it now. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. Okay. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. Okay. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Certainly. To help You're you, scared of oh, weird I monkeys. I could count on you. Moons. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. Mm -hmm. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Yeah, that was a lot of information. Oh. Boo, boo. And boo. I've learned that way. Look at that. Alahamore. Isn't that an Italian song? It's Amore. 
Uh, right. Where the hell has the spellies just taught me? Oh. Hello, Hamora. It's a moray. Uh, way. Okay. Until the sports can activate and release the lock. I see it. I see it. Go up there or there? Opens oh, there. I had it. I had it and I fucked it. There we go. There we go. That was really well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Oh, okay. Area of the castle after all. Okay. Hang on. Sign. B. Okay. There we go. Now we're being stealthy. Stealthy as the wind. That's level two. Did I just grab a handful of sweets and eat them? How are your sweets getting along, Miss Yap? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers and between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. Ha! Oh, wait, there's a book page. I need that. Done. Look, there's that statue again. Let's keep moving. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Alright, let's keep moving until it spins. Oh. Oh, man. There we go. Aha! Lock picking. Plenty of practice from Skyrim. Is this how they get washed? A big ass bathtub. That would be really horrible. Yeah. think that's what that class is for. Why don't you leave goblins alone? There we go. It's just one big bathroom. I feel like that'd be really yeah, exactly, that'd be really weird. Really, really weird. Oh. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls I was... in my way, though. You were caught. Yeah, I'll try that again. I was caught by a guy who walked out exactly as I did. What the hell? Hang on, why did it sound like it was so bad I was caught? It sounded like I've been expelled. Moving on. Oh, I see. So I'm even. I'm more invisible when I stay still. Okay. Gotcha. Very weird. Go. Oh. Keep moving on up. Moving on up. Hmm. We're being silent. Can you 
you just turn the other way? That'd be fantastic. Could you just go the other way, please? Turn around, go away. And I prefer to fire you. I can't, that'd be murder. Alright, cool. Oh, Alright guys, it draws the line. You can't kill other Hogwarts students. Nope, sod off, sod off, sod off. Draws the line there, guys. Definitely. Revenio. Yes, go over there. Yes, I forgot that's a thing. I forgot that was a thing that you could just flick it and it'll go over there. That's. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Hmm. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but. The students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Okay. I know you when I see a reading day. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Run away, run away, run away fast, run away fast. Oh, well, I'm off. Bye. Bye, my good man. I'm not stealing anything. I'm not stealing or doing anything of a sort. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. No, my good man. Revenue. Video. A gold encrusted turtle shell. Alright. Ah, my good man. Nothing. Keep moving. God, this is really high. I've just noticed it's a moving statue. Okay. Am I... Uh, uh, okay, and I'm allowed here. Sup, boy, buddy, or whatever. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Okay. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No, it does not. Now, I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Okay. There we go. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, mm -hmm. You, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Okay. Understood. I shall keep it up. I appreciate that. Is that it? Is that done? Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Okay, we'll do. There we go. Woo. Next! What's next? So we've got that. Conjuration Spellcraft. Appearance. Alright, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Oh, huh, right. And then this one. Oh, we've got new assignments now. Descendo. Collect troll. 
cast Dispenno on a levitating enemy. Okay, let's see. So we'll do that. This one first. Because I need Dispendo now. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Decepto. Decepto or whatever. Descendium. Descendium. That's the one. That's the one. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Mate, we've seen dragons, we've seen everything, but you're a, you're caught off guard by a bit of a deep ca cave. A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Um. Depulsa. Leviosa. Uh. Do I get over there? I'll just fly. I can't fly in here. Um. Depulsa. I died. I fell off the edge. <laughs> this is all down here. Oh yeah, thank you. I forgot that existed, not gonna lie. That I just I just keeled over. I didn't fall off, I just keeled over. I went a little too close to the edge. Must be how I get down. It's broken though. Oh, what do I do to deserve such a smart and intelligent chat? Mind you, the bar is very trick. high. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha ha. Ah, right. Let's go. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Ooh, I need these. Give me. Nice. Ocalumps. Ocalumps, I need these. Let's keep moving, shall we? Keep moving. Let's go. What's through here? Oh, I need a... There we go. Ooh, nice. Outland dueling gloves. Okay. Leviosa. Well, hey. It's Leviosa. There we go. Right, let's keep moving. I'm going to have to get past this. Leviosa. And then it's there. God. And then it's Levy. Oh, hang on. Go. Sorry, it's Reparo. There we go. And then. It's Levy Levy song. There we go. And then through here. Confringo. Go. There we go. And then to go and make it across. No! What did you? Okay. Why did you do that? Why did you just hop off? Why? Stop it!